What's up YouTube, it's your boy Migs, and today it's finally here, Shining Sarcophagus, that's right, my cards finally came in, I'm so excited to have the cards in my hand and present you this deck list, and again, if you really like this deck list and all my other content, please comment, like, and subscribe. First, let's get into the monsters. First we have Triple, Gadget Trio. When this card is normal or special summon, you can add one Shining Sarcophagus or one Spell or Trap that mentions it from your deck to your hand. Then if it is uh, destroyed by battle or card effect, you can set one Stronghold the Hidden Fortress from your deck. You can only use each effect once per turn. Now, I've been debating if I should play the Stronghold or not. Um, at this point, I would cite it going first. Um, and this is definitely a three of. I've been testing it and uh, you need you need to see the sarcophagus in your hand. So this is definitely a three of, and it's an easy uh, rank four toolbox as well. We play two, Gandora G, the Dragon of Destruction, uh, gains 300 attack for each of your of banished cards in general. Um, if you have Shining Sarcophagus on the field, you can special summon it from your hand. Uh, then once per turn, you can pay half of your life points, destroy all cards on the field and then banish them. Then you can special summon one level seven or lower monster that mentions Shining Sarcophagus and increase its level by the number of cards destroyed by this effect. So uh, you can summon either Silent Swordsman Zero or Silent Magician Zero and have their attack go up because of how um, however many cards you destroyed. Uh, this one is at two because although it's searchable, um, I don't want to waste my search on it, if that makes sense. Uh, the, I want to search all the spell cards because the spell cards are really powerful in the deck. Um, and it's a game ender. You summon this, boom, clear the board. You summon Silent Magician Zero and he gains attack and you just swipe uh, swipe the board. And we have uh, plenty of cards in our deck that banish other cards as well. So it can get really beefy. Then, two Silent Magician Zero. Good old trusty Silent Magician. If your opponent draws a card, increase this card's level by the number of cards drawn. Um, and it gains 500 attack for each additional level it has. When your opponent activates a spell card while you control Shining Sarcophagus, quick effect, you can negate the activation. And if you do, this card's level is increased by one. So um, we play two of three, I feel is a bit cloggy. Um, two is the perfect number because again, the that spell negation is a hard one per turn, but spell negation is really strong, especially going second. Um, also, you know, it, it's nice uh, to get that attack boost when you special summon it off of Gandora. It could definitely end games there as well. And even if we don't end the game, we can set up our defenses as well, but hopefully we'll have enough power. But yeah, two is, two is the right number. Um, it's just better than Silent Swordsman. We play one Silent Swordsman zero. Once per turn during the standby phase, it gains a level and it gains 500 attack for each level it gained. Then while you control Shining Sarcophagus, if a card uh, or effect is activated that targets Shining Sarcophagus or a monster that mentions it, quick effect, you can negate it. And if you do, it gains a level. Um, again, the targeting effect is okay. The targeting protection is, is decent. Uh, in modern Yu-Gi-Oh, there's not that much targeting. It's basic board wipe. Um, so that's why I only play one. Again, you know, it's decent enough to where it comes up, but but then again, you know, I'd rather play double Silent Swordsman Zero and double Gandora because those can um, end games. Now for the hand traps, we play triple Dimension Shifter. Obviously, Gandora gains um, effect banishing. Um, and again, we go second with this deck. Um, so D Shifter is just amazing. Uh, we don't get hurt if we banish our cards. It's fine, and it hurts a lot of other decks. Triple Ash Blossom, because Ash Blossom. Double Nibiru, Nibiru is just really strong. This format um, clears your opponent's board and, and you know, it, it stops them running their tracks. Double Valor, just more effect negation. Double Droll and Lockbird, uh, because we want to stop our opponent from searching. So um, hopefully these hand traps are enough for you to get Shining Sarcophagus and then hopefully, you know, destroy your opponent. 
let's move on to the spells. For the spells we play, Triple Shining Sarcophagus. Cannot be destroyed by monster effects is the first line of text, which protects it, protects itself from the Gandor effect. You can only use each of the following effects of Shining Sarcophagus once per turn. During your main phase, you can add one card that mentions Shining Sarcophagus from your deck to your hand, except itself. Obviously, that'd be crazy if it searches itself. Then its second effect, which a lot of people forget about, is if your opponent special summons a monster from the graveyard, you can discard one spell card, then target one of those monsters and send it back to the graveyard. So not only uh, this is our bread and butter here, we live and die by this card. Um, that's why it's so important that we search it and we have a lot of searchers in our deck to try to get us to this card. Again, and it's another searcher. So you search, search this, activate it, search something else. And... Uh, and it has some type of decent protection. Again, I wish it had more overall protection, but it is what it is. And, you know, it has that nice little effect uh, to send a monster back to the graveyard. But you have to play three. Anything less than three is crazy. We play triple future silence. Again, uh, add one monster that mentions Shining Sarcophagus from your deck to your hand. Then if you activated this card during the battle phase, while you control Shining Sarcophagus, both players draw cards until they have six cards in their hand now again uh if you open this you search the gadget you summon the gadget to search shining sarcophagus that's the line and the why would you want to activate it during the battle phase and have your opponent draw up to six cards well if you if you remember silent magician gains 500 attack for each card drawn so if your opponent has one card and they draw five that's 1500 plus the three or four they got off for Gandora. So again, this ends games if you um, activate it during the battle phase. So I, I like to play three. Uh, we need to see gadgets so we can see the shining sarcophagus. Then we play three, Pot of Prosperity. Um, I know this conflicts with the OTK um, ideal that I have, but I figured choosing the monsters I want to banish and dig six cards deep to find the shining sarcophagus is that important versus um versus pot of extravagance um to just draw two i that's my reasoning to play it i know we can't um you know otk if we play it but you know by that time hopefully we've stopped our opponent with our hand traps and we have uh silent magician and and silent swordsman set up to where we can uh we can defend ourselves and KO the next turn. But yeah, Pot of Prosperity is just so I can dig to search the Shining Sarcophagus. Then, Triple Super Poly. Um, again, it can be used offensively and defensively. Offensively to break boards, OTK your opponent defensively for when we use Pot of Prosperity and just in case, you know, our opponent tries something. But yeah, Super Poly, definitely the best board breaker in the game. We play two turns, Silence. I kept um, going back and forth on one or two of these cards, but I think two is the best. So its effect is you target one face up monster you control, increase its level by three. Again, Silent Magician and Silent Swordsman gain attack for each additional level they get. Also, if you activated this card in response to your opponent's monster activation while you control Shiny Sarcophagus and a monster that mentions it, negate that opponent's effect. So it is another form of effect negation on your turn because Everybody plays hand traps. And again, you need to see the shining sarcophagus. So that's why I play two. And also you could use it again defensively because when, you know, again, if we can OTK, we set it and boom. And it has another neat effect too, is if your monster that mentions shining sarcophagus battles, you can banish this card from your graveyard and end the battle phase. So that's another way we're protected. So it's good to have two. Um, if we just end the battle phase, then our opponent can't kill us. So yeah, I think, two, I think two is a great number. Then we play Double Lightning Storm. Again, going second, clear your opponent's board. If Gandora doesn't do that, this will. Then we play one, the Ties That Bind. If you control Shiny Sarcophagus and a monster that mentions it, special summon up to two level four or lower monsters with different names that mention signing Sarcophagus from your deck and or hand. Also for the rest of this turn, after this card resolves, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck. And you can only activate itself once per turn. Um, I went back and forth with two or one in this card, and I decided on one. Number one, because it's searchable. Uh, so I can grab it anytime I need it. Number two, 
we only have three monsters to pick from. Well, we also have the Marshmallow, but it's not great. It's not effective to play in the deck. Um, so, and you can't even uh, XCs, you know, with it after you activate it. So I played one because again, for the OTK aspect, you summon Gandor, you destroy, you summon a monster, you play this, you summon two more, and then that should be enough for your opponent. All right, let's move to, to the traps. Here we are with the traps. Triple impermanence. That's it. That's all we play. Um, it's a hand trap. Uh, nothing else to say. All right, here we are with the extra deck. Our three super poly targets. Mud Dragon of the Swamp, Garuda, Wings of Resident Life, and Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Um, these are the three best targets in my opinion. Um, it really prepares you anything and everything. Um, yeah. For the Link 2s, we play one Dark Charmer, one Light Charmer, and one Barricade Board Blocker. Barricade Board Blocker is there to get us Shiny Sarcophagus back from the grave if we desperately need to. Continue with the Link 2s, double Nightmare Phoenix and Nightmare Cerberus. Uh, just really good generic links. Again, you can play any links you want. The only ones you should probably play is the super poly targets. Then we play double nightmare unicorn. Um, again, if we if we use the charmers, we can just link up into this and get rid of something on our opponent's board. Then we play the utopia package just cause they're rank fours. And again, we can end games like that with the 5,000 attack, you overlay into number 39, then you summon utopia prime and then utopia the lightning to just smack him in the face. And the last two, Baguska and Divine and Double A Zeus. Baguska is just in case you brick and you know, you need something to stop your opponent. And Double A Zeus, you play it in every great Xyz deck. Now I know this is a going second deck, but it's Ethereal. So let's get into some potential going second combos. All right, here we are going second. One, two, three, four, five. Your draw phase, you activate D shifter. You imperm something. You ash something. Remember, all of them are banished. Your opponent has nothing, then passes. You activate Future Silence. I'm going to search Gadget Trio, normal Gadget Trio. Say your opponent has Ghost Mourner, Moon Lichil. You can activate Turn Silence. It gains three levels and it gates the effect of the Ghost Mourner. I activate the Shining Sarcophagus that I searched. Activate Shining Sarcophagus to search Gandora. Then I special the Gandora. Activate Gandora's effect. Pay half my life points to destroy everything on the field. Then I special summon Silent Swords, Silent Magician Zero. Then say you destroy four cards. You destroyed the gadget and three of your opponent's cards. That's plus four levels on Silent, Silent Magician. That's plus 2,000. The Gandora is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15. Plus your opponent's 3. That's 21. That's 3k and 51 to the face. And you have Silent Magician 0 to negate a spell card next turn. And hopefully your Impern and Ash were enough to stop them in the D shifter. And Therio going second, you can get a lot of um, different hand traps and D shifter hurts a lot of decks. If you guys like my stuff, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. It's your boy, Mig, signing off. Thank you.